scattered in small clusters because naturally they want their friends to fight with, so they'll gather in small groups in whatever city they happen to be living in. And because they are so scattered, they have a strong internet community, which makes e-commerce a perfect way to reach them. Um, they have a very large internet-based forum community. They work also through email and word of mouth. And they're primarily white males ages 16 to 30. As I mentioned before, they're financially dedicated. So, for our business, we've decided to create an attractive and user-friendly website. This is crucial for our business since we are doing virtually all of our business online uh, and marketing online and all these other things we're doing are online. Our website has to be our most important tool. We need a shopping cart or a transaction system which we'll be working on um, and projects will be purchased from manufacturers and then shipped to the customers. We're not intending to do any manufacturing ourselves, we just intend to be a e-commerce website where people can buy from us and we'll find at the manufacturers. And the reason we do this is because it can be difficult to buy, for instance, riveted chain mail from India. How do you get it from the factory? You buy it from me. We will buy it from the factory in a quantity of, say, 200. So this makes it easier for the battle gamers to get what they want and gives us a great business opportunity. Uh, and of course, we need a staff to manage and maintain the business to do things like select the gear we're going to be advertising. And of course, marketing. Marketing is huge for us. And as I mentioned before, most of it will have to be done online because of the strong internet basis for this game. Either that or a very large battle events. And next up, we have some financial information. And Jonathan's going to talk a little bit about that. Okay, hello, I'm Jonathan. I'm one of the accounts of uh, the Memory uh, Amorous. <coughs> as you can see, we will already have uh, three uh, 396 and 135,000. Uh, profits in the first year, and this is due to um, our um, marketing strategies that we have. Uh, we, are, we will be able to reach, um, we will be able to break even within the second, first six months. In order, that, like uh, within the seven, the, the first seven months, we already have uh, profitable revenues. Um, okay, so like as you can see, in the second year, we already have um, the first, uh, you know, like uh, six digits. Uh, um, already have hit the first six digits, two millions, and within the third year, <coughs> almost three millions in revenues. This is just in revenues. <coughs> yes. As you can see here, in profits, we will have a second 
Oh, oh, my bad. Okay, excuse me. I'll back up. Okay. Um, okay, this is just a component. Yeah, okay. I had different informations here. Okay. Um, as you can see here, per item shipping it is eleven dollars, and it can decrease um, a small quantity you uh, order from us. If you have, uh, this is only if you have, for example, only one sort that you want from us. If you want uh, one hundred sorts, for example, the uh, per item shipping will decrease. Uh, the same with the, the PayPal. So it's only here because it's uh, a one item. It is associated with only one item. If you have, if your quantity increases, our cost will decrease. Uh, the same thing with the weapons. Uh, in the first uh, year, we have um, estimated that we would have around 18,000 uh, 18, uh, sources that we would uh, send. The same thing with the armors, clothing, and accessories. Um, okay, marketing. What we have here is we said that we will have um, most of our marketing will happen actually through the internet. We have um, search engine AdWords, which would be 200. Uh, like this is our budget, 200, and we estimated that it would increase uh, by 20 dollars uh, every month for the first year. And but the banner at the same thing, we would have 200 uh, <coughs> as our budget, and it would increase by 15 dollars per month. The flyers, we would only buy um, a quantity of 5,000 flyers for the first year, and we don't intend to purchase any more because we, we wanted to actually distribute these flyers. Um, Previously to the big uh, assemblies, we said there yeah, are twice a year like big battles where um, all the battle gamers from around the, the country come together, not only states or uh, locally, it's from around the, the country. And we intend to distribute these suppliers previously to those uh, big uh, national um, assemblies. If you want. So, and the rest is just uh, everything is for free press coverage, email, uh, word of mouth. This is our viral uh, marketing strategies. And um, as Jonathan mentioned, we expect to be breaking even and making profit within about the first six months. You can see here, I've chosen to represent it graphically because the spreadsheet can be hard to see in a, in a presentation, but we're expecting that some costs will rise with our revenues, uh, cost of sales, but we are expecting to see rapidly increasing profits partly due to the high markup associated with these types of items. Markup can be extremely high on, a, on something like armor. For instance, um, a suit of chainmail can cost maybe $30 of steel, but maybe as much as $600 retail. And if we get the next slide. And in the second year, we just expect an increase continuing, but it's slower than the first year, because as I said, it's a limited market, it's a niche. And we expect to reach it quickly if we have good marketing, but we'll have declining growth rates as we continue, because the games will continue to grow, but We'll have reached the majority. In a 30 year budget, it's a continuation of the same. We're trying to be a market leader as fast as possible and get the biggest percentage of this uh, market as we possibly can. So, marketing is crucial for us. Um, we have a few risk factors associated with our business. It's like a management of our growth. It can be difficult to manage a growing company. As I mentioned, a declining growth uh, would probably reach our majority of our target market very quickly and may have trouble expanding after that. Marginal profit loss, things like a competitor coming in, can decrease the margin of profit we receive on each item sold, meaning our profits may lower. Our margin of profit is part of the reason we can offer things like free shipping, as Jonathan was mentioning, the large orders. The anticipation of future trends, if there's something coming up, like a new technology, we have to be aware of it and we have to be able to have that on our website as soon as possible to be able to remain competitive. A decline in battle game, that would be absolutely awful for us because a, our business is very linked to a you know, industry such as this. You know, without the battle games, we don't survive as a business. But with the 15 to 20% growth rate, I find that situation highly unlikely. Third party manufacturing, it can be difficult to control manufacturing when it's done in places like overseas or not by ourselves, and so we may have some trouble with that. Competition. It is absolutely 100% likely that we're going to have competition in this area. Some of it already exists, but they mostly sell one or two items at a time or a small selection of items. They don't have the large selection of everything that I'm proposing for my website. 